go. Okay, so it's time for Untitled Goose Game. I love this game. Come here, Salem. Come here. Why are there saves from the same day? Whatever. Let's start a new one. What's everybody up to tonight? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Can I use a controller for this? Hunter, I feel like it's been so long since I've seen you. How are you doing? Okay, did I turn this on? I didn't. Come on, controller. What is happening? Hey, John. What? Something's talking in the garage. I believe it's connected. I figured. It was an ad for your video. Dealing with the move and applying for college. Oh, very nice. Okay, I don't think my controller wants to work right now. Probably needs to charge. That's so exciting. What are you uh what are you hoping to major in in college? Here we go. Controlled bend forward. <laughs> oh John. You're only watching my stream so you can plug yourself. Yes, exactly. And I got a new phone, my Twitch new tips. Really? Oh. Well. Welcome back. Okay. Hehe. <laughs> science and engineering good for you that's awesome where have you been applying your wings. It has been a while since I've played this game. I don't really remember what I'm doing. Easy peasy. Okay. To do list. Get into the garden. Okay, let's do that first. Hmm, it's locked.
I just want to pick it up. Is there bike pipe music? I love how my little goose walks. He's so cute. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my radio. Probably, yes, he unlocked the garden. Tee hee. Okay, what's next on my list? Okay. Okay. I remember this. You have to get him wet. So you gotta like drag him into the pond. Rake in the lake. Let's do that one. He's a little busy right now. <laughs> I want your keys. See, he knows that I'm stalking him. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm just an innocent goose. I'm an innocent goose with an agenda. Do you want to come play the Untitled Goose game with me? Can I turn on the sprinklers? I love alarming him. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I want the carrot. I'm just helping him harvest. Innocent goose.
Who would leave a perfectly good sandwich here? This is actually easier with a mouse than it is with the keyboard. Pumpkin, jam, thermos, radio, and basket. I'm just a little goose having a picnic. one of his delicious looking pumpkins. Oops, too far, too far. Where did he go? That was so easy. I got away with that one so easily. Oh no! Caught. I'm gonna run into the lake. A little jam jar. <laughs> okay, what's left? A thermos and a radio. The radio is the hardest one. I'll do that last. Okay, how am I going to get this?
I can get to the lake again. Oh no, I got stuck. <laughs> Maybe I can turn on the lawnmower or something. I am determined to steal your thermos. Okay, got it. So now I just need the radio, which I know is going to be the hardest part. I really think that was the ticket. I could have gotten away with that. He just now noticed that I stole his thermos. Sure hope I didn't have to bring a working radio to the picnic. Woo! Okay, I need to get his keys, make him wear his sun hat, and rake him the lake. Yes, goose game. Hi, how are you? Okay, I need to get the rake into the lake. Oops. Have you noticed this lovely flower that I plucked? Can you come get it? Thank you. I'm definitely not going to stand here at the ready. Run, 
Lucy, run! Run! <laughs> oh, that's good! What did you end up doing today? I worked today. Saturdays are always my very busiest days. I'm gonna <laughs> drop his hat in these reeds. <laughs> What is this? It's kind of obelisk. A little housework and some sims. That sounds like a great day. I love that for you. Whoop! <laughs> That's a problem. Uh oh. <laughs> I love The Sims. I actually just installed The Simsium, like, a couple days ago, um, so that I could make some Sims content. I used to play so much Sims. I have so many hundreds of hours clocked in The Sims. And I was like, it's time again. Oh, that's right. I closed the gate. Okay. I, I don't know. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if I can fit <laughs> through the hole, but I will give it a valiant effort. Come on. Come on, Rake. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> I just love how the little goose walks. What game are you playing next, Lucy? Like a strange. Oh, I love Danger and Deception Island. It's one of my top favorite Nancy Drew games. Okay, seriously? I thought the guy would open the gate. What are your top favorite Nancy Drew games, Lucy? noticed the chaos I'm causing? Come on. He says, ah! Oops. <laughs> My bad. I 
back. Oh no, 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 no. Cry is your number one. Other top five. Oh, we really, yeah, real tower. Shadow Ranch. Dog, yes. Have you talked to Morgan about dog? Mime? Ooh. Um, I like Last Train. I like uh, Waverly Academy, Danger on Deception Island. Um, this is like my top three. Shit! Ah, oh, sorry. Um, I also, I also really enjoy Charles and Royal Tower, Secret of Shadow Ranch, um, White Wolf of Icicle Creek, Tomb of the Lost Queen, I know that's a hot take, but like I really love that one, uh, Ghost of Fortin Hall, hi there. Maybe if I do this, and then I bring this over more. Oh man, you're right in the path. Ah. Yes. I send two more lower on your list, but you understand the hype. Yeah. I really love the, like, ancient Egyptian aspect of Tomb. And I absolutely adore the cozy, like, lodge uh, aspect of ice such nostalgia as well. Not as much for Tomb, because I was, like, a full-grown adult by the time that game came out. Yeah. You need to go rescue your, your rake from the lake. <laughs> Or, you know, come get your flower. Oh, pick him up. Ah. I keep dropping them. <laughs> I keep dropping them. The alien subplot killed Tomb for me. Yeah, but it wasn't real. Okay, what's my make the groundskeeper hammer his thumb? Mm. How am I going to do this? Cool. Okay, where is his hammer? First of all, what would he need to be hammering? Aha. Uh -huh.
All right. Goodbye. I've caused enough chaos here. It is. Oh my goodness. You have to play this. Oh my goodness. You need to get this game and play this on your channel. It's so perfect for you. Okay, so I need to break the broom, trap the boy in the phone booth, make the boy wear the wrong glasses, make someone buy back their own stuff, get on TV, and go shopping. Okay, put in the basket. I have to figure out what basket, but toothbrush, loo paper, hairbrush, tinned food, cleaner, fruit, and veg. Okay. Can do... shame. La -dee -da -dee -da. I'll be right back. Go get you some glasses. Hello. Oops. I dropped them. Oh, excuse me. Ma'am. Ma'am. I am minding my own business. The piano is so fun, oh my goodness. Yes! <laughs> Just, uh, hanging around. Don't mind me. Oh, I clicked out of the game. Ah! Okay. La -dee -da. Okay. Turn a wide circle. Here you go, little boy. You're, you're stepping on them. Can <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Buddy, <laughs> it's under your knee. Okay, wait, what? Hmm. I should probably try breaking the broom first. Because she likes to chase me with that thing. Yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> Take that, you meanie. Look at 
like to see you try that again. Oh, that must be the basket. No, I want to buy it. I want to buy it. Let me buy it. Did that count? I guess it counts. start eating it. Okay. Hi there. I'm just a little innocent goose. Here to cause no chaos. Oops, I keep pressing out of the game. Oh, I got stuck. Please, I'm just an innocent little goose. Ah. Be afraid. Oh, looks like I've got to actually get away with it. Okay. This will be difficult. <laughs> Put it over here with the boy's glasses I stole. Nobody's going to think to look there. Okay, what else is there? We gotta trap the boy in the phone booth. Well, let's open the phone booth, I guess, then. Can I do that? Goosey. 
Taking a little walk. Just hanging around. Hmm. Oops, my bad. I keep doing this. I have it like not full screen. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Wait, what is on the list? I need toothbrush, blue paper, hairbrush, tinned food, cleaner, fruit veg. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a fruit. Wide berth. Oops, no. <laughs> ha. I love that he's afraid of me. He should be. <laughs> ah, I stopped moving. Okay, here we go. Boy's looking for his little. Get in there. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> Let's go watch. Oh. Maybe he's not gonna try to buy back his plane. Oh my gosh, I keep hitting out. Ah! Why am I the worst at this? Does that count? <laughs> It isn't big enough for my purchases. Whatever. <laughs> So innocent. Look, walking right on by. I'm not doing anything of interest to you. I saw a toothbrush over here in the garbage. That's that's the one. That is an apple core. Tin food and cleaner. <laughs> Where can I find tin food and cleaner? Uh, 
That looks like cleaner. Oh, that's okay. Tonight's just a really chill night. Don't have too many folks hanging out. Also, I didn't like advertise at all that I was going to be streaming tonight. <laughs> so no worries. Ah, no, get into get into my basket. There we go. You see nothing because you're not wearing your prescription. Okay, so I just need tinned food. Where am I going to find that? What's up? Okay. Oh, 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 I see it. I see it. I see canned food. Why more people don't talk about that game? I know, it's so good. It's hilarious. And it's like well designed and written. Mm hmm. Who? Or child. <laughs> that goose! I yes. can hear it. Alright. Uh, he'll be like, oh, hello, goose. He's so cute. That's what he would say. Oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> okay. What is on my list? Make someone buy back their own stuff. Trap the shopkeeper in the garage. Okay. I have an idea. <laughs> I love the no goose signs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stop. I'm so innocent. When you're out of the ad, I will talk to you about Van Gogh. Okay, so I love Van Gogh. I was an art major in college. Um, so, you know, obviously. Um, recently, I have found that my son, who is two, he's going to be three in October. Um, my son also really loves Van Gogh. So I have a, um, I have a, a print of 
like a really giant framed print of sunflowers in my dining room and uh my son loves it and like will bring it up to me and he has like a little bath book like you know the kind of, like the pages are white but then like if you like put water on them then like colors appear so I have this one that is like called paint with me and it's all these like famous works of art and um you can like paint with water and uh make the art appear so there one of them is starry night and like my son is obsessed with it he loves it it's, he thinks it's beautiful so today I put this shirt on that has like multiple um Van Gogh paintings on it and my son was like mommy you look pretty and I was like, thank you but he wouldn't let it go he was like you look so good you look so good mommy you're so beautiful and I was like I don't look that good. He's never told me this before, you know? I He loves the artwork. Like, I wasn't wearing this all day either. He didn't tell me that until I put this shirt on. So I was like, that is hilarious. Um, yeah. So just thought that was really cute. My fascination with him started with the Doctor Who episode where they go back and try to make him see how valuable his art is. I loved that episode. I used to watch Doctor Who so much. Whoops. Um, what kind of Sims content am I planning on making? Well, um, I kind of want to do Goopa and Jetpacks, like, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Tiny house challenges <laughs> um because those are super fun and i want to show off um i have made a lot of nancy drew locations in the sims so i kind of want to like show what i've made um because i'm actually quite proud of some of the things like and how accurate they are to the game. So I thought I'd do like a tour of like things that I made um, back when I was pregnant and like pregnancy was a little rough at one point and I was just sitting down a lot. So I did a lot of Sims for like the whole last month of my pregnancy. Um, so that was what I made. I made Blackmore Manor. I made Wickford Castle. I made... Uh, I don't remember. I made a whole bunch of things. So I have this whole world in The Sims that is just like Nancy Drew locations. Um, and it's not all stuff that I've made. Like if somebody else puts something on the gallery and I'm like, this is amazing. I'll add it to my little Nancy Drew world. So, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, I love that. Sims is so fun. I was late to playing The Sims. I didn't play until Sims 3. So, I mean, obviously that was like a long time ago now, but I never played one or two. Okay. So, Homegirl really isn't gonna come get me. Oh, nice! Wait! Ew! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Oopsie! Oh, 
Okay, she got out of the garage. I still gotta make somebody buy back their own stuff. Since I was an art major, do I work in the art world now? No, um, <laughs> so I dropped out of college. Um, I got, I got my associates of art in graphic design. And then I dropped out of college because it was just too expensive. Um, and I very quickly realized that I actually don't enjoy doing graphic design um, like for people. So the only thing that I like do in the art world right now is in fact my own like Etsy shop stuff. So I really only do stuff for me. Um, I mean, it's like for other people, I guess, because I'm like designing stickers and stuff like for people. Um, but like, I really, oh my gosh, she has, who needs it? So yeah, I just, I just quit. <laughs> um, now I'm a bridal stylist, which I love. Um, I love working in bridal. I love working with brides specifically. It is so, so super fun. What do you do? What did you, you dropped out as well. What, what's your story? Where's that little boy? I need to torture him some more. Yeah, it is such a fun job. That's what I, I do every Saturday. Um, so like I stay home with my son through the week. And then uh, on Saturdays, I, <laughs> it's so fun, um, go and help women find their dream dress. It is so fun. business admin who wanted to open a coffee shop dropped out sophomore year couldn't afford it yeah that sounds familiar uh became a barista never went back to school oh good for you i love that oh that's why your um your like layout for your streams is coffee congrats that's so cool this girl is the head roaster, coffee roaster at a coffee shop. Isn't that neat? My brother does. Yeah. That's super cool. What do you do? Oh, okay. Okay, time to steal his toy again. Ma'am, oh man, I, I'm in trouble. Okay, now put the toy on the shelf. Okay, notice the toy is gone. Now come over here. Come get it. Do I need to like... I just want you to notice that she took your plane. How did I start working as a bridal stylist? Or how did I decide to do that? Oh, so um, I was doing a job that I did not like. Um, 
pandemic happened and then I got furloughed and I was like, I need to do something better. And the, uh, the bridal shop in the city where I live was hiring. There we go. Yes, it worked. Um, so I applied and I was like, Hey, I, um, before I moved here, I worked in this like higher end, like resale, like consignment store. Um, and I found out that I really loved like working in fashion. I also really love party planning and wedding planning and, um, weddings in general. It's like my jam. Um, and like, so like fashion and weddings and like, it just made sense. So I applied, they were like, you're going to be perfect for this position. Um, <laughs> hired me and the rest is history. I have been in bridal now for four years. Um, yeah, it's super fun. I'm trying, I also want to, uh, get more into wedding planning and doing like day of coordinating and like helping out with that whole thing. Um, I just love being in bridal. Yeah, it was pretty perfect. It was like everything just kind of fell together. Okay, where am I going? This looks good. This way? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let me in. Hello. What's my to-do list? Make someone break the fancy vase. Help the woman dress up the bust. Make the man spit out his teeth. Get dressed up with a ribbon. Make the man go barefoot. Do the washing with a bra, a pair of socks, a slipper, and a bar of soap. Let's do this. Okay. So yeah, this morning, um, my bride today, oh my gosh, she was amazing. Um, all of my brides are amazing. <laughs> but it was so great because she gave me a budget that I was like, ooh, that's really low for if you want like a dress with sleeves. But guess what? I found her a dress with sleeves literally in her budget. And it was unheard of to find a dress under like a thousand with sleeves <laughs> but we made it work and it was so funny though because like she picked out like 11 dresses um no she picked out like 10 dresses and I typically cap them at like 10 like at like eight you know like six to eight is like the sweet spot you know but um she was like oh but this has like this and this has this so I was like whatever like it's fine I only have one appointment today it's fine you know so, but I was like, you need to try. I always have my, um, yes, exactly. Sleeves are difficult. <laughs> um, so, and also like these dresses, like at least the ones that I'm selling, they're like really well made and they're made by people who are being paid well. So, um, they definitely are a bit more expensive. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, like, anyway, so I was like, I need you to try on, like, one of everything, you know? So, like, you need to try on a more fitted style. You need to try on flowier. She ended up, she really liked flowy. Um, like, A-line dresses. And she was like, I really like lace and I really want sleeves. And um, I was like, okay, but you need to try something that's, like, plain. So... Because, like, some people say, oh, I want, like, really detailed lace and sparkles and you know, all that stuff. And they, you know, sometimes, all, all the time, people think they, they want something and they want the total opposite. So I always have everybody try one of everything. So I had her put on a dress. It was sleeved, but it was, like, just, like, like a sh more sheer um, chiffon, like, sleeve and no lace. It was just a beautiful like chiffon dress oh it's so gorgeous beautiful like ruching it oh it was just oh it's so gorgeous so that was the only dress that I picked out for her and <laughs> that was the one that she ended up buying and I was like 
I don't want to brag, but did you notice? <laughs> So, uh, I just love what I do. I love helping people find their dream dress. what to do. Ooh. I love that for you. That is so good. I, uh, I did something very similar. When I was getting married, it was long before I was working in bridal. Um, and I got my dress on Etsy, which I don't really recommend <laughs> because it's so dangerous, but it worked out. And I spent like 300, but I like designed it. It was really, it was exactly what I wanted, you know? Yes, please send me a picture. I would love to see. I always say it doesn't matter how much it was. It doesn't matter like what it was, as long as you were happy in it, you know? Are you going to take my soap from me? You took my soap. Let me open up Insta. There you go. Okay. Let's work on the man, shall we? Hello. Don't mind me, just hang around. Oh, she's like being nosy. <laughs> I'm just being an innocent goose. What could I possibly do to offend you by standing here? like waiting for a wedding dress picture to come in. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. It's beautiful on you. It's literally perfect. Oh. Obsessed. What a gorgeous photo. I won't show it unless you want me to show it on screen, but like it's oh. Suffice to say, she looked gorgeous. Oh, you want to go get your silly wet paper? I can? Oh, okay. Okay, I can't see what I'm looking at. <laughs> Guys, look at how cute she looks. A beautiful dress. Wait, look at the... It's like, this is a really small screen. Hold on. Look at the dress. Oh, it's blurry. 
How gorgeous is that? Stop being blurry. Wow. So beautiful. And an email from Best Buy. <laughs> ah, I love, I love a good wedding dress. And a good wedding dress story. <laughs> you should be. Oh my word, let me see if I can find a picture of mine. Mm-hmm. So mine was um a girl on Etsy makes um prom dresses <laughs> and I asked her if she could combine like different elements of various dresses that I really liked to create like the dress that I really wanted and I wanted it to be like like Audrey Hepburn, like Grace Kelly, uh, the mom from The Parent Trap, you know, style vibes. Uh, so I ended up with, give me a second, this was five years ago. And I had two dresses because we got married in the end of June and it was very, very hot and we got married outside. So I also had a reception dress which was just a little short dress with a little bow on the back. Okay. Wait. Full screen again. Nope, not game. Webcam. Here we go. Okay, so here's my dress. It's blurry. Here we go. So here's my dress, and... Yes, I love their style too. Let me see if I can find. So it was a bateau neck, but it was a like low-ish back. You can kind of see the back in this one. Sort of. Wait, yes. There we go. And then not like super low, just like half. And... I had the super long veil in place of a train, if that wants to do anything. Come on. <laughs> anyway, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was so great. It just had really like, like little scattered, like floral lace. It wasn't all over lace. It was just... Uh, I just loved it. Um, but, so, here's what happened. My photographer did not show up to um, my, like, getting ready time. So I only have that one photo that I showed you of, like, just me in the dress. I didn't have any getting ready photos or anything. But I always really wanted that. So, um, thank you. <laughs> so I decided, we decided that... Um, for our five-year anniversary, we would have a photo shoot, and then we could do more. We could, like, get the photos that I always wanted. Um, so we just did that, and I actually just got the photos back, like, a week or two ago. And for this one, since I'm a bridal stylist, and I had a baby and, like, expanded in multiple places, I was like, I will never be able to wear my dress again, like, comfortably with the zip. <laughs> so, um, I borrowed a dress from work that is, like, my, my dream dress, you know, like, besides my own, um, has everything that I wanted in a dress, that I've always wanted in a dress. It's a huge ball gown big bow on the butt um strapless sweetheart it's got pockets the hugest train like um so I borrowed that from work and we did this photo shoot and I felt like Cinderella hold on so like it was so voluminous like look at that hold on Like, look how much that goes out as I'm sitting. <laughs> it's so blurry. 
Um, let's show you the skirt. Yeah, so gigantic butt bow. It was pretty much the best. It was, it was so good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I was really pleased. I was like, I've gotten everything I wanted, <laughs> you know? I love talking about this stuff. <laughs> Does anybody else have a wedding dress story they want to tell? Just tell me. <laughs> I will, I will listen to your wedding dress story. Okay, what was I supposed to do? Make the man spit out his tea. Oh, okay. Thank you! Such a girl's girl, I will always listen to these stories. Same! Same, absolute same. Oh my goodness, I am also such a girl's girl. I'm all about, all about girly things. Oh man, I want him to drink his tea. So I can make this. I can I can do the gong and then he'll spit it out. Stop reading your paper. Drink your tea. Oh man, let's talk about more girly things. <laughs> oh, drink your tea, drink your tea. Okay, now take a sip. Yes! Welcome back. Oh, I did it again. No, let go. gonna steal your duck. Oh no, he doesn't want to go upstairs. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Iris.
Good to see you. I'm just playing the Untitled Goose game. Causing some goose chaos. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay. Note to self. Don't try to go up the steps. stole this woman's bra. Oh, she noticed. Abort! Okay. Okay. Get the duck out of here. Go. I can't have any competition. Ha. Nothing to see here. Ha. <laughs> No, seriously, technical difficulties are literally impossible to uh, avoid. Uh, I am just an innocent duck, ma'am. Goose. I'm a goose. Sorry. <laughs> she just walked right past me. <laughs> Please put the bow tie on me. Yes. Can I keep wearing it? I'm so cute. Oh, oh that's so precious. Oh my word. Okay, what is on my list? I feel like I've spent a long time trying to do that one. Okay, help the woman dress up the bust. Make someone break the fancy vase. Make the man go barefoot and do the washing. Okay. Oops. Okay, okay, okay. So, what I need to do. I am the cutest goose in the whole world in my little ribbon. Hi. Oh, no, 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 not my ribbon. Oh, sir, you are cold hearted. Stop staring at me. My slipper now. So close. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Would you read your paper or something? I feel like she's probably closed the gate by now. Yeah, she has. Okay. your paper please I'm not doing anything wrong wouldn't that be so much nicer oh no I dropped it again ah open the gate again man's slipper again it does seem less overwhelming didn't do anything. I'm not, I'm not, I'm literally not moving, bud. <laughs> I want your other slipper. <laughs> noticed one of your feet is colder than the other? get his other slipper if I don't have access. doing that woman oh man
need that for my washing. That was executed very well. Oops, my bad. One sock. What a process this is. I keep clicking out of the game. Why am I so bad at this? Oh my gosh. Run, 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 run. run. Tee hee. I got it. <laughs> too lately. man. Now if I go past him, he's going to notice. Read your paper. I've been good. I have been good. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Okay. What else could I possibly have to wash? A slipper. <laughs> That's right. I saved that Slipper for a reason. out of the game. Hello, sir. Are you interested in- aha! Run! <laughs> He did play this a while ago. Okay. What is left? I don't have much. I just need to help her dress up the bust, but I don't know what else to have her put on it. And then make someone break the fancy vase. So, what else of his could I use? 
Maybe his pipe? You think she'd give the pipe to the bust? Which means I need to go over here. Open the gate. Grab his pipe. this level. I can't believe that I got his pipe. Thank you, you too. That was just pure and utter chaos right there, so here you go. An offering to the bust. Very soon. Yeah. Ow. Yes! Okay, one thing left. Which is make... Oh, wait, hold on. Make someone prune the pi prize rose. Okay. So, break the vase. Prune the rose. Okay. Please leave me alone. Okay. This is definitely what I need to do. Come on. Get up. Get up. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Goosey did not want to walk. <laughs> I know exactly what to do for these last two. Oh my gosh, I've put so many things in action. Make someone break the fancy vase. <laughs> and finally, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> oh, I did it all. I did it all. All right, I just did three to-do lists, y'all. That was excellent. I'm gonna stop here. <gasps> Not my face. Wait. What is she thinking about? This looks like a perfect way of escape. Ta-da! All right. I enjoyed getting to chit chat with you too. That was so fun. Um, we need to talk more, obviously. Also, I totally never sent you a video of my planner. I will absolutely do that, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, okay, yes, let's, uh, let's quit here. Yes. 
This was fun. I'll do the last... I think there's five levels? I forget. I'll do the last two levels uh, at another time. Yeah. That will be another thing entirely. <laughs> All right. So, um, thanks for, thanks for joining everyone for hanging out. Um, I know it was kind of last minute and also I was late and yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, my next thing is, what am I doing next? I have spilling the tea on Wednesday. So be sure to tune in for that. It's going to be amazing. Um, otherwise, oh, and I've got a podcast series that we're starting. It's a collaboration between me and my podcast, obviously. Um, Avery from True Drew Podcast and Alexa and Candace of the River Heights Buzz. We're all getting together and we're talking about hot takes and unpopular opinions for all of the games. So, uh, yeah, that is, the first episode is coming out very soon on True Drew Podcast, so if you don't follow her, give her a follow and check that out. The second episode will be on the River Heights Buzz, and then, um, third episode will be on mine on the 28th, so that's super fun. Um, so lots of fun things coming up. And I will get back to, like, game Nancy Drew content very soon, but I just felt really burned out, so <laughs> I needed a little break. Yeah, I love Avery, too. She's so great. So, anyway, um, that is all for this evening. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, twinsies, you arrived just as I'm ending. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will see everyone next time. Goodbye!